Juliet McGill Kinsey Gordon was born on October 31, 1860 in Savannah, Georgia. She was named after her grandmother, Juliet Augusta McGill Kinsey, and nicknamed Daisy. As a child, Juliet was accident prone and suffered many injuries and illnesses. She suffered frequent earaches and had recurring malaria. By age 17, she had begun to go deaf in one ear, and by the time she was an adult, she was completely deaf. Juliet enjoyed art and poetry more than schoolwork. She wrote and performed plays, and she started a newspaper with her cousins called the Malbone Bouquet, which featured some of her poetry. She made a club with her cousins as well, with the goal of helping others, called the Helpful Hands Club, in which they learned to sew and tried to make clothes for the children of Italian immigrants. After the death of her sister Alice at the end of 1880, Juliet took over the household duties while her mother grieved. During this period, she met William McKay Lowe, the son of a family friend, and they began courting in secret. In 1885, William Lowe proposed. Nearly 10 years after their marriage in 1886, Juliet became unhappy due to William's infidelity and heavy drinking habits. She filed for divorce in 1902, but William died in 1905, causing the remainder of the process to be completed with his mistress, Anna Bateman, who he had left nearly his entire fortune to in his will. Juliet had to contest this in order to receive any of her husband's assets. After the death of her husband, she traveled and did charity work while looking for a project to focus her time and skills on. In May 1911, she met Sir Robert Baden-Powell at a party and was inspired by the Boy Scouts, which he had founded. Juliet and Sir Robert became close friends and spent a large amount of time together over the next year. In 1911, Juliet became involved with the Girl Guides, an offshoot of the Boy Scouts for girls that was led by Agnes Baden-Powell. Inspired by this, Juliet returned to the U.S. with an idea of her own. Girl Scouting in the United States began on March 12, 1912, when Juliet organized the first Girl Guide troop meeting of 18 girls in Savannah, Georgia. After changing the name to Girl Scouts to take the pioneering history of the U.S. into account, Girl Scouts obliterated the previous organization of Campfire Girls due to its popularity. It has since grown to 3.7 million members. Juliet envisioned an organization that would bring girls out of their homes to serve their communities, experience the outdoors, and have the opportunity to develop self-reliance and resourcefulness. The early growth of the movement was due to Juliet's extensive social connections, and she contributed early on by recruiting new members and leaders. She advertised in newspapers and magazines and recruited her family and friends. Girl Scouts grew larger after the United States entered into World War I. Juliet publicized the Girl Scouts through newspapers, magazines, events, and film. However, she never credited herself and was never featured in any of her advertisements during her lifetime. Since her death, however, she has been on a U.S. postage stamp, a postcard, and is actively recognized and respected in the Girl Scout community as the founder. And October 31st is celebrated by all Girl Scouts as Founders Day.